Hey, what's up everybody? Marcos Villegas here at the La Habra Boxing Club. And if you just bought a pair of pro style gloves or, or gloves that you're gonna use in a professional fight, if you're a, a pro that's coming up that's very young in their career, or if you're someone that just wants to know a little bit more knowledge about the proper way of using that new pro style glove, we're here with my friend, Dave Martinez, the head trainer at the La Habra Boxing Club, cut man extraordinaire as well, who's gonna teach us the proper way to use a pro glove and tie it up in preparation for your first pro fight or if you're a young pro that's on the come up that's looking for the proper way to tie a glove up with string with lace right here and if you see a glove with these strings here it's not meant for bag work it's not meant for sparring it's meant for use as a professional inside a ring as a pro fight so Dave what would be the proper way to go ahead and tie this glove up well let, let me show you the proper way of doing it. In the old days, in the old times, what they used to do is they used to tie them up, lace it here. I'm going from the old school. In the old school, they come down and then they lace it this way here. So what you're actually doing is you're extending the, uh, the beginning of the, uh, of, the, of the tie here to down here, and then you tie here. Now, in the old days also, when, uh, a lot of times they, they didn't use tape. They didn't want you to tie it on, on the top of the glove here, right by the laces, because what happens yeah. is that during a fight, you can use this, this part, and you can scrape the opponent. So we don't do that no more. So what we try to do here is to cover the whole wrist and the lower part of the arm. So what we try to do is to make sure it's, it's secure, and then pull the, pull the ties, starting from the bottom, on up, Make sure they're tight and they're secure. What I usually do, tie a knot here, and to secure the lower part of the, of the arm, we start making cross, cross ties. In other words, start from the top to the middle, to the bottom here, and then you finish off here. What I try to do is try to make the tie on the side here where it doesn't interfere here. Again, it's old tradition. If you tie it here, you might use it as a scrape. Uh, it's a great mechanism, but if you tie it here, you, there's no problem there. Now, a lot of times, see, there's no more, no more lace left. What they don't want you to do now is to, uh, is to make a knot and cut it off because these gloves and the laces will be reused. So what they try to do is to make a, a knot here where you, it will come right out and you tie it as such. And then what happens nowadays is that you use in, uh, in California, they, uh, they usually use a duct tape. So um, in other states, you have to have your own tape and, and tape it down. Now, as you can see, is that I do not use uh, to go above uh, the area here on the lower part where there's a little tunnel area here. What you try to do is to keep it on that line and not above that line. Uh, most, time, most times if you do it above here, they want, they want you to tie it down here. So as you, as you can see, the whole glove is secure from the lower arm here to the wrist area here. And most likely, and a lot of times, it just, uh, uh, it's, a, it, it's a good protective mechanism that it covers the whole area here. And again, you tape it with either duct tape, the commission in California will tape it for you, but in other states, you do it on your own. So here, you got it. So after the fight, just pull it out. And then you got yourself the same glove and they won't have to use any more laces and they'll probably use it for the next fight. Again, nowadays they do not want you to cut the laces. They just want you to secure it in a bow knot and that's all you have to do. Take it out and then you can you know, disinfect it and uh, use the same laces. And that, uh, in a nutshell, that's where it's at again. These are for an actual fight. These gloves are for fighting. It's not for sparring. You can use them on the bag for, um, for bag work. I mean, see, for bag work and for mitt work, but not for actually sparring. And they're too light and they're too dangerous to use for sparring. So that's a 12-inch glove here. The more you know. <laughs> Thanks, guys.